Hello everybody and welcome to Raw China. I'm MC Lur here to provide you with unbiased analysis about how awesome China is. First up is Traitor of the Week. Who's betraying the Chinese people and sleeping with the enemy this week? The Chinese people themselves. That's right, you're a bunch of traitors that have allowed a Taiwanese spy to infiltrate your ranks. <笑>我今天有一個任務 我要在這裡拍幾張美景,美照,然後呢,發回去我台灣的朋友群,交通群裡面,讓他們看一下,讓他們羡慕一下。I mean, what the hell, guys? How does this Taiwanese girl go viral creaming herself over the erectness of Shanghai skyscrapers? Hello, she's Taiwanese, which, according to true lovers of China, means that she's Chinese. So why in the name of all that is Mao, do Chinese people care so much about a Chinese person jizzing her pants over China? The only people's opinions about China that we should care about are foreigners. Speaking of, let's go to Russian meth addict slash China lover Fulafu for the Fulafu forecast. Hit your stock portfolios out, folks, because this coked up baboon is on to something. The Communist Party recently moved to ban celebrities and influencers from flaunting their lives of luxury, i.e. domestically made Chinese products are sure to make a comeback. China. Sell your stocks in Puma and start investing in tuna or Numa. Return that Calvin Klein polo and get yourself a cavern colonel. Even the biggest celebrities are expected to toe the party line with this one, with talentless actress Li Bingbing already replacing her Gucci bags with Gucci pickaxes, or just regular pickaxes. <laughs> Would you look at that? Fresh off her luxurious vacation in Canada, Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou is replacing her iPhone with a Huawei phone. Truly a billionaire hero for the average Joel. But let's go, average Joe. He's the man who's in the know. Unfortunately, not all billionaires care enough about Chinese people to give up their Chinese passports. No. Some billionaires born without Chinese passports still have the audacity to talk shit about China. A decision that will ensure they get hit. This is talk shit, get hit. The talk shit, get hit. This week, JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon was talking all kinds of shit. The, the Communist Party is celebrating its 100th year. So is JP Morgan. And, <laughs> and I'll, ma I'll make you bet we last longer. <laughs> I can't say that in China. <laughs> they probably are listening anyway. Hold me back, LeBron. Hold me back. Woo! <sighs> Luckily, Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesman slash Kami Koala Bear Jolly Jen addressed this matter by not, well, addressing the matter directly, instead refocusing the attention on the journalist that had the nerve to ask. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Koala Bear did his job because Diamond got spooked. He has since acknowledged that he should never have spoke lightly or disrespectfully about another country or its leadership. And I, for one, stand with Diamond. It's about time for some real change here, okay? No more speaking disrespectfully about another country's leadership. You hear that? Enemy of mankind, Mike Pompeo? Maybe you can speak with Sleepy Joe about not calling Xi Jinping a thug. All right, and don't even get me started on that anti-Chinese traitor Lila Farley, okay? Speaking of Lila Farley, if you guys like raw China, be sure to give it a like and praise me in the party in the comment section, but also consider showing your support on Patreon or via YouTube membership. Other than being able to join in on weekly private streams or view behind the scenes content, you'll also be supporting me in trying to produce a three song EP next spring. Between mixing songs and shooting the music videos, Lilith Farley Productions is completely reliant on the support of comrades like you. So click this link here or here uh, if you'd like to join and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. MC Lur out, bro. Show it to we how, show it to we sell how.
社会主义国家人民社会地位高。<笑>